find the analytic function f of z equal to u plus i v given that u is equal to 2 sin 2x by e power 2y plus e power minus 2y minus 2 cos 2x. So this is we have to find out analytic function f of z where the real part u is given. So we can use many Thompson method for the first formula because real part is given. Okay. So here the given u is u is equal to 2 sin 2x whole divided by e power 2y plus e power minus 2y minus 2 cos x cos 2x. Okay. So now this function I am going to rewrite. It is not necessary but if you do this we can, the problem may be simple. Okay, so what the simple simplification is uh, dividing 2 in the numerator and denominator. So by dividing 2 in the numerator, 2 will be cancelled. So it is sin 2x. By dividing 2 in the denominator, the entire term will be 2. So the 2 is I am going to give this e power 2y plus e power minus 2y by 2 and here also I am going to divide by 2 so minus cos 2x are you clear so the denominator divided by 2 but the 2 I am dividing into this term and this term this is here this is 2 cancelled you see one formula is there the formula is e power theta plus e power minus theta divided by 2 is cos h theta okay so this is one of the formula so by using that formula here e power theta plus e power minus theta by 2 is cos h theta okay so that u is equal to sin 2x whole divided by this is the formula so cos h 2y this is hyperbolic function minus 2 cos 2x now it is u so after that for the milli thompson method, I am going to differentiate partially with respect to x and differentiate partially with respect to y. Okay, so I am first I am going to differentiate with respect to y, x, u, x. Apply u by v formula. So v into differential of u, sin 2x differential is cos 2x into 2, cos 2x into 2 minus u into differential of v with respect to x it is 0 minus cos 2x differential is minus sin 2x into 2 minus of minus plus sin 2x into 2 whole divided by denominator whole square so cos h2y minus cos 2x the whole square Okay, after this, uh, uh, we can simplify or otherwise you can put u x of z comma 0 because in the formula, in the Milli Thompson formula, we want this u x of z comma 0. The meaning is for x I am going to put z, for y I am going to put 0. But here y put 0. So 0 into 2, 0. Cos h 0. Cos h 0 minus x x is z cos 2 z into 2 cos 2 z minus 2 for x put z so sine into sine sine square sine square 2 z whole divided by this is y 0 so cos z 0 minus cos 2 is at the whole square. Okay, so for the simplification, cos h0 is 1, so 1, but 2 cos 2 is that I am going to multiply inside. 1 into cos 1 into 2 cos 2 is that is 2 cos 2 is at and minus 2 cos square 2 is at and outside minus 2 sin square. 2z whole divided by 
1 minus cos 2 is at the whole square. Okay, so after this 2 cos 2 is at, you see in the first next two term we can take minus 2 outside. After taking minus 2 outside, inside cos square 2 is at plus sin square 2 is at, it is 1. So 1 into 2, 2. Whole divided by 1 minus cos 2 is at the whole square. So this is also further we can simplify. You see the further simplification, I am in the numerator, I am going to take minus 2 outside. Because if you take minus 2 outside, denominator and numerator are same. That's why I am going to take in the numerator minus 2 outside. When you take minus 2 outside, this becomes plus 1. And this is become minus cos 2z. Whole divided by 1 minus cos 2z, the whole square. But you see, 1, 1 minus cos 2z, this cancel. So... At the same time, I am going to use the formula 1 minus cos 2 theta equal to 2 sin square theta. So, this is one of the formula. Okay. So, this formula I am going to use here. Denominator is 1 minus cos 2 theta. So, 2 sin square theta. Theta is z here. So, minus 2 divided by 2 sin square z. 2, 2 cancel. 1 by sin, 1 by sin is secant. So finally, ux of z comma 0 is equal to 2 to cancel. So minus 1 by sin is cosecant, cosecant square z. So this is the value for ux of z comma 0. Okay, so next I want to differentiate with respect to y. The same u term I am going to differentiate with respect to y. So what is u? The u is already we changed sin 2x divided by cos h2y minus cos 2x. So this is I am going to differentiate with respect to y, uy. Okay, again u by v method. So v into differential of u. Numerator differential with respect to y, it is 0 minus numerator into u into differential of v, denominator differential cos h2y differential is sin h2y into 2. You see cos h differential of cos x is always minus sin x, but differential of cos hx differential is only sin hx, not a negative value. Okay, so this is one of the important formula. So by that, so cos h2y differential is only sin h2y into 2 minus differential of cos 2x is 0 because with respect to y. Whole divided by denominator whole square. Cos h2y minus cos 2x the whole square. Okay, so I am going to u y of z comma 0. So for x put z, for y put 0. So cos h 0 minus, sorry, uh, okay, cos 2 z into 0 minus, this is 2 sin 2 z into sin h 0 whole divided by cos h 2 cos h 0 minus cos 2 h y sorry cos 2 z for x is z whole square you see it's 0 because 0 into anything 0 sin h 0 also 0 0 minus 0 0 so the entire value is 0 so u y of z comma 0 is 0 ok so now next we can apply milli thompson formula so milli thompson method So what is Milli Thompson math formula? F of z is equal to integral 
u x of z comma zero minus i into u y of z comma zero into d z. So this is the formula. So in this formula, I am going to substitute. So f of z is equal to integral u x of z comma zero. What is u x of z comma zero? It is minus cosecant square z. So minus cosecant square is that minus u y of z comma zero is zero. So leave it into d z. Okay. What is the integration of minus cosecant square is that minus cosecant square is that formula is cot z. It is cos cot z. Okay. Plus integral constant c. So this is f of z. So this is our required analytic function f of z.